What's up everyone, how you doing? Right now, just finishing rendering tomorrow's video, Smooth Snowboarding 6.0, 5 p.m. Come back and check it out. In the meantime, I wanna make a little video of one of my subscribers who bought my pro model in some really crazy specs, sent me some video of his turns and they're really, really freaking good. I uh, do not recommend the specs that he bought. Uh, he's definitely a very advanced rider and carves really hard, so these specs work for him. But speaking of that, right now Donick Snowboards is making me, uh, I think it's like 10 boards of the specs that I generally recommend for people. So uh, soon, as soon as those are finished, I'm going to go over to the shop and I'll talk about those specs, why I generally recommend them. Uh, you know, it's basically what I recommend normally is wider and a bit larger of a side cut radius and uh, that, that leads to bigger, smoother turns if you're already turning good enough to where you're hitting your toes or heels or if you just have large boots. But uh, generally I don't recommend jumping up in width over two centimeters. Um, this guy went all the way up to a 31 centimeter board and that's pretty darn aggressive and I wouldn't recommend it for most people. It's just too, way too much. Um, I am super glad that I went from a traditional wide to 27.5 to 29.0 to 30 29.5 to 31.2 and uh you know it, I, I, that progression worked with me as i got better at carving then i needed the extra clearance but if you j jump up all the way from a normal wide or normal board to something like a 30 centimeter board you're probably not going to like it so i'll definitely explain more and ask answer as many questions as i can in the comments about that but those boards, uh, yep, I'll feature in a couple days. Then they're very similar to the boards that Vinny and uh, Eugene were on in my This Is Snowboarding video. So they, they were on a couple of demo boards. I'm pretty sure they both bought some boards over the summer. And I uh, can't wait to see some more turns out of those guys. But yeah, let's uh, check out this guy's footage. Huh? I love how he turns that board. Um, I asked uh, him some questions, checked out his specs and stuff, and he went with a 168 length, 31 centimeter waist, 11 meter radius. These are very bold specs, and that's why I just can't recommend them for most people, because unless you know you want a much larger radius, it takes a while to get used to, and same with the width. That's such a big jump up in width, so I really don't recommend most people even thinking about jumping up to that type of width. In general, going to something like a 27 or 28 will allow for much deeper carving, being able to tilt your board on edge a lot more before hitting your toes or heels into the snow. So uh, some of the other questions I asked him, and yeah, I'll, I'll link his channel to the uh, in the description so you can check that out, see some of his older videos, and see that he was already ripping turns on a much narrower board previously. Um, one of the things he mentioned was he wanted to go that wide and stuff. Previously it was on a Nitro Pantera 169 wide and he was forced to ride with angles of 30, positive 30, positive 24 and that's so that he wouldn't be hitting his toes or heels into the snow and you know that for turning great that can work but switch stance is going to suck with those angles so he said he wanted to start working on switch riding a lot more so he wanted a twin and then you know my version an extra wide i asked him what he thought about the flex and he says it's uh much different than this nitro pantera very good for control on edge and yep that's what i'd say a stiff board it's just nice and stable and doesn't get noodly that said, my board's extremely stiff. I've heard Sean Martin talk about it in terms of being an 11 out of 10 on uh, how stiff it is. And it's actually too stiff for most people, I think. So last uh, at the Donic Nas uh, the Nationals demo, Sean built uh, a couple of boards in the, a soft version. And virtually everyone who demoed the boards, between my boards between the full flex and the soft version, 
most everyone liked the soft version better. So that's the board I'm recommending uh, if you're going to get one, unless you're crazy heavy and ride extremely aggressive. Um, so yeah, the soft version, that's what Vinny or Eugene was on in the video, in that other video I was talking about, and uh, that, that's what they both preferred and were ordering too. So uh, I'd go with the soft version. It's by no means a noodle. It's just a little softer, so make going to make presses and stuff a little more possible than, you know, my board is really, really stiff, and I don't really think about pressing on some of my buttering tricks. I'm just driving the nose or tail in and let them riding the edge with uh without much bend out of my board because a bendy board yeah it gets noodly at speeds so that's uh that's why i don't care for soft boards at all but uh <clears throat> yeah i want to thank uh dimitri for sending me those videos and letting me show them on this channel uh kapla my friend keep on ripping and sending me clips because that was inspiring to watch if i'd have seen clips like that someone making those type of turns on a twin snowboard with a 15 negative 15 stance a handful of years ago i'd have been like whoa how so uh awesome awesome to see and uh um yeah thanks for watching on and as soon as those boards are done i'll make a video featuring them and if the and i'll you know explain to the best that i can who they might be right for and who they'd be wrong for so uh if you're interested in potentially getting one of my boards, I would definitely look into those if if, if the length is about what you need. So uh, otherwise, the beauty of dust, Donic snowboards is the customization and just being able to custom take any model and customize the exact specs that you want, and then you know refine them. You, you know each time you get a new board, like that last the last handful of Donics I've had. This is so beautiful because it's not that I'm switching to a new board or anything when I get a new board with new specs. It feels like I'm hopping on that same board, but with just those new characteristics that the changes of specs that I request par. So the last handful I've gone with this last couple I've gone with the same width and just worked my way up in radius. And that's what I'll probably do uh, sometime this season too. I'll probably go with a larger radius yet. But again, that it takes a work to get used to larger radiuses so I'm not suggesting you hop up to anything above a 10 for sure and in general I recommend about an 8.7 which is a bit larger than a normal freestyle board so hey thank you for watching happy shredding I know I ranted a bunch there we'll be shredding soon my buddies Nate Dog, Trailer Tom and Chad Otterstrom just got first chair up at Wolf Creek so yeah A Basin opens this Friday I won't be going to open wing weekend it's just too much of a shit show white ribbon of death it is nuts but I'll be going next week so take it easy thank you for watching I appreciate all the views and the likes and we'll check out the video tomorrow and God bless.